Now, before we start the mastering process, it is important to ensure that the mix meets the standards for the mastering stage. And by standards, I'm specifically talking about the loudness. You want to ensure that your mix never goes above 0 dB, otherwise it's considered clipping. But at the same time, you also want to ensure that there is some headroom, so there's room for the mastering engineer or yourself to apply the mastering processes. Alright, so I have a session open over here. On the master, by default, there's this fruity limiter. Now, if your signal does go above 0 dB, the fruity limiter can ensure that it doesn't by setting a ceiling at 0 dB or maybe even slightly below, let's say negative 0.1. Now, if I play the loudest portion of the mix. <clears throat> now, if you notice here, we actually never hit that ceiling point because my mix is below the 0 dB point. It's almost hitting 0, but it's not quite hitting 0. How do we know exactly what the level we're peaking at? Unfortunately, FL Studio's meters don't have a peak reading or even a peak indicator, but there is a bit of a workaround for this. So I'll move the fruity limiter a slot above, let's say to a slot 9, and on slot 10, I'll add Wave Candy. Let's make Wave Candy taller, and let's switch to meter mode. Over here, we can see actual decibel values. And as I hover my cursor on the interface, in the bottom right corner, we can see specific level readings. Now, if you want to be a bit more precise, we can actually scale this up or down. And now we can focus in on that 0 dB mark. All right, so let's play back that same section again. So it looks like I'm peaking over here, which is about negative 0 0.38. Maybe slightly above now. So negative 0 0.37. Alright, very close to hitting that 0 dB mark, but definitely below. So we're safe. Now this track is quite dynamic. So it's okay that we're almost hitting that 0 dB mark, but typically for the mastering stage, you want to leave a little bit more headroom. So just in case you decide to add in some saturation or any other kind of enhancement, you still have room for that. But this is okay for now, we can deal with this. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to bounce out this session to an audio file.